Okay, so in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add these navigational links up on the top, your navigation. I'm also going to show you how to add navigational links here at the bottom. And um, if you need fixing, if your navigation links do don't show up, maybe you deleted them and then you're trying to re-add them, I'm going to show you how to fix that as well. So watch this video. It's real easy, real simple, and it's going to help you. So the very first thing you want to do is you make sure you're logged into your WordPress area and go into the dashboard. All right. Once you're there, I want you to go over to the settings and click on permalinks. I just want to make sure you're on the same page and you're adding post name as the settings for your permalinks. And that just helps with SEO, search engine optimization. Instead of this one, two, three, I typically want to uh, make sure that people are seeing their website forward slash their website name that helps a lot better than all these other things but if you do have a blog and you want the month and time and stuff you could certainly do that i tend to like this one all right so go ahead and press save changes once you did that the, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to appearance and customize so go do that right now once you're in here this is where the magic happens and you can go ahead and press uh, menus right here click on menus and you could add a menu all right so i'm going to click add menu and you could call this whatever you want because it's going to be on my top a header i'm just going to call this header so that's what this is the header i'm going to create menu and once you do that then go ahead and check mark header and if you want it on the right here, then you could check mark the right as well. If you want it on the footer and stuff, you could check mark that. I'm just, I just want it here. So I'm going to check mark that. Then I'm going to click on this button right here that says add menus. So click on that and then just start checking off the menus that you want from the pages you have right there. And if you want a custom link, I'm just going to show you really quickly how to add that. If you want some external link, you could do like Google and make an, a, a custom link as well. So I'm just going to add a custom link just to show off how that works. All right. So once you're done with that, go ahead and press save and publish. And then go to the menu locations and make sure that header is selected. So it may be dis deselected for you. Just go ahead and reselect it just like that and your menu should come up you don't see it up on mine yet just because I deleted the menu and if sometimes uh, this happens when you delete a menu and you re-add it you may have to uh, go into here and refresh these uh, this again so I'm going to show you how to do that so your menu should come up right now if it doesn't let me show you how to do this refresh this page settings just press refresh up on the top and then go ahead and go into your uh, header options right here so if you don't see the menu coming up right here because you maybe deleted it after you just did what I just showed you go ahead and click on header options and then header menu but make sure you refresh it sometimes it needs a good refresh for the header menu thing to come up so what we're just doing is we're going to header options again and then header menu and then we're selecting that header menu like that and then bingo there you got all your menus up there one more time and it, you would just do the exact same thing if you want footer menus let's say you wanted a menu down here at the footer you would just first create a menu so let me go back and I'm gonna go to menus and I'm gonna create a new menu right here add a menu and I'm gonna call this footer and I'm gonna create that and I want this to be on the footer and the footer right. You know, maybe I, you could add multiple if you want. And it's not going to come on any of these unless you make it um, show up. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So if the first thing you want to do is that. Then the second thing you want to do is make sure you add some menus. So I'm just going to add blog, home by Tesseract, and sample. So it's a little different than the other one. So we could differentiate between the menus. All right then I'm going to save and publish and I'm going to make sure that my menu locations are set so go to menu locations after you added this menu and I'm going to go ahead and 
click on the footer for the footer menu. So make sure that's that's selected and the right footer as well. And that's saved. Good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the footer options and there's a right area right here and I'm going to click on the menu right here and it'll say none at first but then you want to switch it over to the the header or footer so you're going to see it say header right now well that means this probably needs to be refreshed and reloaded and then it will come up sometimes your browser does this it's just loading in the the stuff so I'm going to go back to the footer and then a footer right and hopefully it did it yep it did it so there it is the footer so sometimes this information this these uh this data doesn't come and because of your browser and you just have to refresh it and typically that's when there it is right here you see that typically that's because you either deleted something like a menu like i did um, but typically these things come up really quickly you don't have to refresh anything but if you did previously delete a footer menu or header menu you may need to refresh it to have it come up um, and that's about it you can watch this video again just to see all, all the little things I did but it's really simple you just create a menu first you um, make sure you check mark the menu locations you go into your header locations and then you make sure that your header uh, menu is selected as well right there um, I hope this video helps. Let us know if you have any questions.